I have Daisy here? I'd like to discuss some of Daisy's training and the first thing I'd like to talk about is how Daisy is learning to wait at a doorway. I don't want Daisy to enter or exit any doorway without an invitation to do so. That's obviously for her safety. So when I get ready to enter this room, I'm going to turn to Daisy and make my hand like a traffic cop. I'm going to tell her, Daisy, wait. And then I'll be prepared to block her with my foot if I need to. Okay, come on in. Once she waits politely, I'm going to invite her in. And I have some items on the ground that I want Daisy to have. Ah! Ah! Good girl. So you saw she came in. She put her nose on that sock. I made the noise, which means no or stop to her. She moved down the row and put her nose on the purse. So I increased the intensity of the noise, which means no or stop to Daisy. And then she retreated and went to her place. And that's when I'm going to tell her, good girl, Daisy, you did exactly the right thing and reward her with something she can have, affection and a dog toy. So like I said, your first line of defense is to increase the intensity of the noise, which means no or stop to Daisy first. And then if Daisy still isn't listening, that would be when I take my two fingers and give her a little poke on the side of the neck. That little poke simulates a bite like a mother might do with an unruly puppy. But Daisy says, oh, I've got it. These items are not for me. I'm going to come over here, get a good girl, Daisy, give Leslie a kiss, and get a job well done. Good puppy. 